From 1990 to 2010, the yearly sales of various foods are depicted in this dollar M scaled line graph. In 1990, sales of hamburgers were $30 million at the low end, while sales of pizza were $300 million at the high end. Fish and chips, on the other hand, accounted for $500 million in sales in 2010, while pizza accounted for $210 million. Fish and chips had the largest sales in 2010 compared to pizzas, which had the lowest sales at the time. The 12-month percent change in metropolitan regions for and farm payroll employment from June 2016 to June 2017 is depicted on this map of the United States. Non farm employment increased by 2.6% on the west and east coasts, respectively, while it decreased by 0.1% in the Midwest. Non farm employment increased the greatest around the beaches, but farm employment increased more in the center of the country. The dual multicolor line graph is the product of study into the smoking behaviors of men and women. The smoking rates in some land have been documented from 1960 to 2000 and are measured per 1000 individuals. The pink line, which represents women's statistics, increases at first, then plateaus for a while before rising again in 1975 and remaining nearly constant until 1990. It then declines from 1995 to 2000, reaching a low of 300 per 1,000 persons. The men's line, on the other hand, shows a significant and consistent decline from 600 per 1,000 persons in 1960 to around 300 per 1,000 people in 2000. Overall, we can claim that women's smoking rates have climbed while men's have declined.
Several Australian cities' cost of living is shown in the table below, with comparisons made between 2016 and 2017. For the second year running, Perth was the most expensive city to live in, while Alice Springs, which placed second in 2016, dropped to fifth in 2017. As a whole, Perth has always been the most costly city, whereas Alice Springs has traditionally been the least expensive. The graphic conveys critical information on the world's population growth. On the x-axis, we have the years 1750 to the present, as well as a projection for 2050. The y-axis, on the other hand, is labeled 0 to 10 billion. The graph includes data from both emerging and developed countries. The graph clearly shows that emerging countries throughout the world are already dealing with large populations, and by 2050, the situation will be far worse, with a population of 10 billion. Though the population of industrialized nations will grow in the future, it is now under control. I may infer that until 1950, the population of both sorts of nations remained relatively stable, but suddenly surged. A simple but multicolor bar graph gives an interesting piece of information on how the college fees are paid by students or pupils. Precisely, the graph shows that grants and scholarships are the main sources to pay the money as it contributes 31% followed by parents' income and savings that is 30%. Student loans and students' income and savings are recorded with 15% and 12% respectively. The smallest amount comes from relatives and friends. Overall, it can be concluded that there is more than one source when it comes to paying for college.
from January through December, the daily high and low temperatures in Beijing, China, are shown on this graph. The coldest months are January and December, with daily highs of about 2 degrees Celsius, about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, and lows of minus 8 degrees Celsius, about minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit. During July, the daily maximum temperature is 30 centigrade forward slash 86 Fahrenheit, while the daily low temperature is 21 centigrade. In general, December and January are the coldest months in Beijing, while July is the hottest month. A beautiful multicolour bar graph gives core information on the sources of funds for the higher education in the country of Scotland. Various shades are given to different information such as yellow represents services, maroon talks about overseas fees, and dark blue shows funding council grants. The information is from the years of 1994 to 2002, and the grants are shown in a million pounds in cash terms. As I can see from the graph, research and funding council grants have little difference in the years 1994 to 1998 which is between 500 and 750 million pounds but the gap increases in 2001 and 2002 rising to 1000 million pounds. Finally, services, overseas fees, and endowments take little portions in the funds throughout the years mentioned. The map depicts data about European nations. Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark are all visible at the image's top, as is the color emerald, which may be distinguished from the purple of Sweden. We can see Germany, Poland, Austria, and Hungary in the center of the photo, and the colors are khaki, yellow, and orange, respectively. Looking down, we see Italy in pink and Greece in olive green, as well as Portugal, red, and Spain, olive green. The graph, in conclusion, is quite useful and insightful.
Australian Merlot sales are depicted in a pie chart. There were 37,583 Merlot sales in Victoria. Queensland, 33,373, and the Act were the next largest states, 32,305. There were 28,190 sales of Merlot in New South Wales. The most Merlot was sold in Victoria, while the least was sold in New South Wales. Three huge, feet tall skyscrapers are seen in the photograph. The tallest building in Taipei is the 1,670 foot Taipei 101. This is the smallest of the three, with a height of 1,450 feet. As for Kuala Lumpur, the Petronas Towers 1 and 2 clock in at 1,483. While Sears Tower is the smallest, Taipei 101 is the highest. Using this graph, you can see how educational attainment affected incomes and unemployment rates in 2012. With an unemployment rate of 12.4%, persons with only a high school education or JED had the best chance of finding work. This group's average weekly wage was $471. Those with a professional degree had the lowest unemployment rate, at 2.1%. At $1,735, this category had the greatest median weekly earnings. In general, lower unemployment and greater median weekly incomes are associated with higher levels of education.
the given images are showing two different types of feelings and emotions. In the first picture, few children are laughing their heart out. The children look very innocent and enjoying the moment. The children seem to be underprivileged. On the other hand, the second picture is of a very old person who seems to be very tired and depressed. Wrinkles can be seen on the face of old person. Two types of feelings are shown in these pictures, one is happiness and laughter and other is gloomy and poignant. The pie charts compare the proportion of carbohydrates, protein and fat in three different diets, namely an average diet, a healthy diet, and a healthy diet for sport. It is noticeable that sports people require a diet comprising a significantly higher proportion of carbohydrates than an average diet or a healthy diet. The average diet contains the lowest percentage of carbohydrates but the highest proportion of protein. To summarize, Carbohydrates will remain as the major factor in a diet for individuals, with approximately half of vital nutrients. The dual image of a Venn diagram and a triangle puts light on the comparison of the fundamental needs model with Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. On the left-hand side, we have a multicolor Venn diagram showing three basic needs that are status, stimulation, and security needs. These needs are then represented in a triangle with their examples from top to bottom. The top is filled with self-esteem and actualization needs such as creativity and respect followed by belonging needs like friends and family. The last two portions of the triangle show the security needs which means freedom from fear and physiological requirements like food, water, and shelter. We can conclude that these two models show crucial information on our needs.
the bar graph shows TV watching habits among children of different age groups. The age group 5 to 7 watches TV for approximately 7 hours whereas children in the age group 8 to 10 watch TV for around 8 hours a day. The age group which watches less TV in a day is age group 11 to 13, the children of this age group watch TV for 4 hours. So overall, the age group 8 to 10 watches more TV as compared to other groups. The line graph depicts the three-year costs for various one-time purchases in monthly installments. The number of people recharging their mobile phones online dropped from 1,000 in 2015 to less than 400 in 2017, but the number of people purchasing tickets online increased from 500 to 1,500. There was a little fall then rise in the number of people ordering food online from 1,500 in 2015 to 1,900 in 2017. Over the course of the event, food and ticket sales increased but cell phone recharges decreased. Australia's biggest cities are depicted on this map. Darwin, Cairns, and Tosenville are some of the northern cities in Australia. South Australia has three major cities, Adelaide, Melbourne, Perth. Located on Tasmania's island, Hobart is the state's southernmost metropolis. Australian territory is bordered by three other oceans, the Indian, Great Australian Bight, and Coral Sea. A wide range of large cities may be found throughout Australia.
Maps of Australia's photosynthetic and non-photosynthetically active vegetation are shown. Although blue indicates non-photosynthetically active vegetation, green indicates photosynthetically active vegetation on northern and eastern beaches in Mapo. Using the color red, Map B emphasizes the sparse vegetation in the center of the nation. The vast portion of the nation is covered in nothing but weeds and weeds. Data about the most popular smartphone brands in Australia can be seen on the graph. We can observe from the graph that Apple has the highest percentage of the total in 2009, with 55%. LG has the smallest percentage, 10%. On the graph, we can clearly see that Samsung holds a 42% share of the smartphone market in 2019. In Google, the smallest percentage is 10%. With Apple in 2019, we can observe that the percentage is 33%. Data about popular mobile phone brands may be found in this graph.